talk about bringing your social media posts to life with pictures. <laughs> Not all of us are lucky enough to have the photography gene mm -hmm. and the ability to create great images for any situation. Basically, all I can do is point and shoot my iPhone <laughs> and hope that the pic comes out well enough for me to use filters and editing. As a side note, <laughs> Snapchat takes great pics yeah. and has tons of filters and editing applications that you can use to make your pics just about perfect. <laughs> Um, also, most of us don't have an unlimited budget, like my last corporate job, <laughs> to buy pictures or pay a photographer to create original images. The rest of us need to have options. Right. Where do we go to have to have these options to find creative, professional, and crisp images to use in daily communications, social media posts, and for our website use? Like Jen mentioned, at her previous job, where she had a budget, she used photo sites such as iStock, Shutterstock, and Getty, as well as had designers shoot images just for her use. So, but now that we're in the real world of limited budgets of entrepreneurship, exactly. there's so many free sites <laughs> where people like us, entrepreneurs, bloggers, mm -hmm. and marketers can find just the right image, free of copyrights, and free of charge. Yes. So here are a few of our go-to sites for copyright-free images. For any of these, we will provide links in the comments below. We use Pixabay, mm -hmm. Pexels, Stockfree, mm -hmm. Unsplash, mm -hmm. and StockSnap. And Stock Snap is one that actually pulls yep. the photos from most of these other sites into one place to find what you're mm -hmm. looking for quickly. On any of these sites, you search for your keyword or words, and then you peruse Ooh. Ooh. Say word. <laughs> the resulting pics. Each photographer chooses keywords, so many times you have to go through lots of pics to find what you want. Right. Also, if you like the idea of one pic, click on that one and others by that same photographer or with that same theme pop up and you can search th through those to see if you find the right image to convey your thoughts. It is time consuming and you can kind of get into this wormhole of photos, <laughs> but trying to find the right pick does take time. Right. It's worth it though. It is. It's absolutely worth it. Yes. And the selection sometimes can be limited on the sites. Mm -hmm. So these are popular sites mm -hmm. and you might recognize an image or two from other blog blogs, ads, etc. So keep in mind when choosing your picture. You do not need to use the picture everybody else is using. So there's always another option, just keep digging. Yes. So let's walk through a real life example. We chose to search on Pexels, mm -hmm. and I'm interested in finding a picture to help illustrate this quote. Yeah. If you're a good marketing person, you have to be a little crazy, <laughs> by Jim Metcalf. Here, we chose to go a bit more on the funny side, yay, than the Charles Manson <laughs> crazy side. And you can see that the below images pop up. Some are creepy, mm -hmm. and others are just a little too silly. Just you have to keep to your brand voice you have to keep your brand voice in mind at all times. This can be difficult. The, this can be difficult because there are great picks out there, but they may not coordinate with your brand voice. Yes. So we chose this whimsical woman with a silly mustache and glasses, sort of a la Groucho Marx. <laughs> and the text we wrote below could say something about uh, along the lines of crazy good content or a little crazy is good. <laughs> um, also, this picture does have enough white space around the edge of the right. woman, so you needed to add text. You have plenty of space to do that um, if you wanted to turn it more into a meme as well. Right. Um, so just keep that in mind, the balance and the proportion. Um, sometimes it's hard to come up with a theme. You have a great picture, but you can't come up with the text below, so it just may not work. So you got to really right. try to balance that as well. I agree. So in summary, there are many great sites out there for free images that you can use to enhance your content. So take some time and choose wisely. <laughs> And if there's enough interest, comment below and we can review a few basic tips for taking your own pics. Mm -hmm. We know many professional photographers and we can invite them to join us for a few hints and tips for those interested in taking your own pictures. As always, follow us on any of our social media platforms and make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. If you'd like to take a look at some of the real life examples, we have tons of social media posts using pictures and words and um, you can actually see what we did and right. agree, disagree. <laughs> take a look at what worked for us. So, and if you don't know how to use any of those social media sites that we have them on, please feel free to go back and watch our videos on ways to use them for your business. Exactly, we have a whole series. Ooh, look at us. Thanks. Thanks for joining. Bye. <laughs>